there's a new strategy in the vaccination rollout. It's the latest attempt to rein in the pandemic and get businesses and schools reopened. KKL 9's Jeff Nguyen reports health officials are on board with getting more vaccine doses to essential workers and communities of color. I've had it myself. Um, I've had friends who have it. I've lost two co-workers. Victor Fernandez knows all too well how devastating COVID has been. He's part of a community that Governor Gavin Newsom says has been the hardest hit by the pandemic. Over the last year, 55% of those that have tested positive in this state have been tested positive, happen to be Latino. 46% of the deaths happen to be Latino. Which is why the state is making a major shift in policy to now devote 40% of available vaccines to the most devastated areas. Some of those zip codes have been along the 10 freeway east of the LA County Fairgrounds, which has been a mass vaccination site. It was amazing. It was very um, organized. Stephanie and Philip Castellano say they too know the effects of COVID. She's a waitress, which is an essential worker. We were all infected, uh, my whole household. The governor says the new strategy is designed to inoculate people who work in agriculture, hospitality, and the food industry. That in turn could help loosen up restrictions. You can't safely reopen your economy until we get this disease behind us. We can't honestly do that unless we address those communities that are disproportionately vulnerable. Victor Fernandez believes we can all benefit from a trickle up approach that starts with essential workers. They're the ones keeping this, this country going right now. Well, the people making the minimum wage are the ones keeping this place together. The governor says nearly 100 Spanish radio stations have been part of an outreach program to educate people about the free vaccination process. In addition, legal status is not a factor. In LA County, you simply need to live or work here and fall under the qualified groups. In Laverne, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.